Consumer Choice Center, Elizabeth Hicks in opposition. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Elizabeth Hicks from the Consumer Choice Center in strong opposition. Simply put, this bill is going to do more harm than good if passed. An increase in taxes on vaping products and other alternative nicotine products will lead to much higher prices for consumers, pushing many former smokers to switch back to smoking combustible tobacco. Tragically, 1,400,000 Hawaiians lose their lives to smoking-related illnesses every year, but considering that studies have shown vaping to be 95% less harmful than smoking, ensuring that adult consumers have access to these products will ultimately lead to fewer cigarette smoking-related deaths within Hawaii. More than 100,000 Hawaiians vape, and according to data from the Hawaii Journal of Public Health and Medicine, the largest demographic of Hawaiian vapors are actually 65 years and older in age and started vaping as a means to quit smoking combustible cigarettes. This tax will disproportionately harm lower income individuals throughout the state, robbing them even more of their income and penalizing them for choosing less risky alternatives to combustible cigarettes. This policy would also lead to increases in smoking related health care costs, which are already costing your taxpayers over $141 million annually through Medicaid expenses alone. And we can expect that number to increase if this bill is passed. We all know that smoking related illnesses are serious and can lead to cancer. It's on a personal note, after being around secondhand smoke for most of my life, This past year, I received my own cancer diagnosis, undergoing chemo, radiation, immunotherapy, multiple surgeries, and I can assure you that I would not wish this on anyone. So considering this committee is focused on protecting public health, embracing vaping as a harm reduction tool will help ensure that your citizens are much less likely to end up in a situation similar to mine. Additionally, this tax will result in consumers looking towards the illicit market in order to avoid the price increases. This presents concerns for public health as consumers will be buying unregulated products that do not necessarily necessarily adhere to the regulatory standards. Also, unlike vape shops, the illicit market does not abide by age restrictions, therefore making it much easier for youth to acquire these products illegally. I'll wrap up by saying this proposed tax on vaping and alternative nicotine products is simply misguided as the unintended consequences would only exacerbate the problem that Hawaii is trying to fix, making this particular bill unviable in achieving its desired outcomes. Therefore, I urge you to vote against SB 975. Thank you for the opportunity to testify. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have.